Hi, welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Tinika, and today I'll be showing you some fun ideas for making your own packaging for your new pumpkin soap bars. And really, these ideas will work for any of your soap bars that you want to make your own packaging for. So, let's get started. The first thing that I did was I went to my local art supply store uh, called Blix here in Portland, Oregon. And they have a wide variety of specialty papers, just um, all kinds of beautiful stuff. Uh, I bought some natural hemp uh, twine to wrap with. And I like just natural corrugated cardboard, but there's all kinds of fun and interesting things you can do. I also bought some really flashy shimmery paper, which I thought might be fun for the holidays. Um, and there's all just uh, go and shop around and whatever inspires you pick it up and start experimenting so let's get started the first thing that you need to know about your soap is what size is it so we're gonna go ahead and measure these soap bars are approximately three and a quarter by two by one. Those are your dimensions. That's the first thing you need to know when you're looking at packaging. And again, I got this plain corrugated cardboard sheet from my local art supply store. And I'm just going to put my soap bar down here and I'm going to figure out exactly how much of the soap bar I want this cardboard to cover. And I like it to just have a little bit peeking out on each edge, maybe, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. From this edge, I need to measure a sixteenth of an inch and mark it on my cardboard. So the other part is I need to know how um, how long I need to cut this piece in order to fully wrap around. And again, we measure the dimensions so we know that it's one inch, two inches, one inch, two inches. So all together that's six inches. So I need to make sure I cut at least six inches and if you like your wrapping to overlap then cut a little bit more six inches and if you don't have a paper cutter I recommend you get one if you're gonna be doing a lot of packaging otherwise scissors will work just fine just be careful that you cut in a straight line and now I have my wrapping for my soap I probably could have cut a little bit more there's a little bit of a gap but I think that's all right. So I kind of like the way that that looks with just a little bit hanging out on each side. So now I have to secure that wrapping on there. And I bought some natural uh, hemp cord and I like the green color so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to cut a good length of cord so I can wrap it around a few times. And just wrap it around my soap. I'll just use this much and cut off the extra. So you just tie it together and you can tie in your little charms at this point. And I'm gonna, I don't have any charms today so I'm going to just tie it together. And make a cute little bow. And there we have it. Here's my pumpkin soap. And of course you can cut this down. You can make it look however you, you would like. But there's, there's one idea. And at the end of this video, I'll show you some different uh, packaging ideas that I also did. Um, there's all kinds of cool stuff. I also found um, this corrugated cardboard, which has a neat pattern. And I kind of like the black color against the orange soap. So I'll show you that one later. You can make uh, packaging for your soap in another really cool way. And that just, you can do it with, honestly, with just a nice thick piece of, of um, card paper if you want. Um, if you want something crisp and clean, like a white color, which I chose to use today, um, you can do that. And when I measured this, in order to do the project I'm gonna show you, you want your paper to be five and three quarters by five and three quarters. Um, that will wrap your soap just perfectly. And this is kind of a fun way to 
to do your soap, I kind of like this idea, I, this is what I do, is you're gonna make, basically you're making an envelope for your soap bar. So the first thing you do is you push the sides in like this, like so. Make sure your bar is in the middle of your piece of paper. And then you just kind of fold the ends up just like that. Hold them in place. It takes a lot of holding and, and a little bit of practice to get this right. And when it all comes together, you have a nice packaged bar of soap. And I like to put, um, I bought some stickers to seal this up with. I kind of like the way that these green ones looked. Uh, kind of natural and leafy and kind of cool. So I'm going to actually have this wrap around. I'm gonna seal the back of this little envelope with a sticker and then have it wrap around to the front of the bar of the soap. And then I can put my label on there and label it whatever I want. There you have it. There are a couple of ideas of different ways to wrap your soap. And again, you can use the paper idea on all kinds of different paper. I liked the flashy paper too. I think I'm gonna do, do some bars like this for Christmas. So I got flashy paper and then I got this kind of, um, this uh, really thin, see-through almost paper to go over it because I just kind of like the way that looks and I think they'll make excellent Christmas gifts this year. So you may know Essential also makes uh, ready to label products. They come in these really pretty blue bottles in travel ready sizes. This happens to be the Meissler water with pear and they don't come labeled. I went ahead and put a label on this one so that we could um, I could show you exactly what a product line might look like if you were to put your own label on it. So. If I were to buy this Meissler water with pear and put my label on it, and then maybe the exquisite oil, I might want something else to go with it, like some soap. And here's a neat thing that you can do with your bar soap. You can cut it in half. It cuts in half very easily. I cut this with a butter knife. So I cut it directly in half. And Essential Wholesale sells these really neat little makeup boxes. They're large makeup boxes. You can find them on our website. And they fit these bars, once they're cut in half, they fit them really well. So, <laughs> turn that around. So, I put one of these bars that I cut in half into our large makeup box and, and put our logo on there. And now, I have either a gift set of three products I can give to folks, or I can put my brand on them and sell them as travel packs, or I can give them away as corporate gifts with my brand on them. Um, there's all kinds of cool ideas you can do with it, but you can travel size your soap bars as well. So here are some other ideas for packaging. If you don't have the time or energy or will to do some more crafty ideas, you can always buy these organza bags and put your soap bars in there. I kind of like the black. I, I just wanted it to be a little bit more masculine. Um, I also did the corrugated cardboard and then bought this. This is a stretchy um, metallic uh, a cord that you can buy. So I just bought that and put a bow on it. I thought these were kind of nice for a more masculine gift. Um, of course, you saw earlier the um, corrugated cardboard with the hemp string and the envelope method with the sticker to seal. Um, you can also buy glue dots to seal the back of this. Um, I just kind of like the way the stickers look. So that's what I did. And then of course, last but not least, your travel ready sizes. So I hope you have fun with your soap packaging and enjoy these ideas. Let us know what you think and you'll find links to all of these uh, products in the description of this video and enjoy and happy wrapping.